Come on, woo! My boy so fresh, girl so fly She keep passing me by, must be on the far side I was so shy, she was in the in crowd I was on the bench, she was the varsity type She was Laura, I must have been her Now that she on square, then boxed the inner circle No in crowd, it's me and her around She my Rihanna, we run the town Special tenderoni, me Bobby Brown We make the bed rock, call us the Flintstones Exquisitely crafted, rare gemstone She on a New York BS Pink Tim's on Okay, so I wanted to talk about my incision today Today is my one month update on my post tummy tuck, lipo, and muscle repair. And I hope that what I'm gonna share with you will help you because I've seen many videos and in all of the videos and most of the videos that I've seen, uh, you know, where girls would get dog ears it would be like the same issue. So I'm hoping that this would help someone. Okay, so my incision is getting better. The swelling is still hard, but it's gone down some more compared to previously. But yeah, so this side I like. This side, you see how the, the incision goes, the line goes, it goes along with my hip. And then this side, it kind of went down. And I see that a lot where when it starts going down, it's so easy to start forming that dog ear. And right away, I started with my faha on, I was massaging, massaging, and it's been going down. And yeah, I, I know my doctor would give me a revision, but I don't want one. I don't want to go back. So I just been massaging it down. Um, like even without the faha on, I'll go ahead and do that as well. But even more so with it on, I'll go ahead over on top and massage it down and massage it like that and to the sides just to get that from not forming there. So if you can have your surgeon like follow the line of your hip like going a little bit upward instead of sideways, how this goes, then I think that avoids that situation. So it's just to help anyone who's about to get the surgery done to speak with your surgeon and see if that can take place, if that's possible. I don't know how it is, you know, when everything is open up and they're doing their thing. But see if you can actually request that because, yeah, this side is healing flat and better than this side. But I'm massaging it down. I'm doing all that I can. I think it would have been worse if I haven't been massaging it. Um, but, yeah, so hope that helps. And I'll be back to show my face after I dye my hair because in lieu even though my sister hates when I use that word, in lieu of the one month update, I'm gonna dye my hair to that copper-ish color that um, I've been seeing everybody do on YouTube. Yep, I'm doing it. See ya. Okay, so you have ya ever <laughs> messed up your hair so bad that you're just grateful to have hair in the first place? Yeah. Let's just move past this. Um, it wasn't a hair tutorial anyways. I have myself to blame, that's what I like. And yeah, y'all just gonna have to deal with these copper patches and move on. Do not Chromecast me to a big screen. Thank you. Okay guys, so the next clips are the pictures that I took from the side. Now that the swelling went down, you can see like the before and after of the side view. And I'm putting also in the clips the recipe that I used for the soup that I uh, was eating post-surgery and I made it pre-surgery. So yeah, if you're interested, take a screenshot of it. Yeah, it might be a little bit different depending on the situation, your pot size and all of that. But that's the best that I can do. Hopefully it helps and and that it works out 
good for you, for your soup. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. This is Love and Life through Kel's eyes. Peace out.